Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, I think you know what this is. Uh, kind of teased it a couple of days ago before I got back. I got back today. Uh, this is what, Wednesday? So you may see this video on Thursday or Friday. Not sure when it's going to go up. Um, but I want to unbox this. Um, right now, my LiPo batteries are charging. Um, so just in case, I just want to open this just to see what it looked like, felt like. Um, and then I'll, uh, do the, um, I want to get some accessories from it for, uh, for it from, uh, Luke from Meta Darts. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay. I think I got it. No. In the middle first. Of course. Alright. See what this looks like. Oh boy, cardboard. <laughs> That's always fun. Could pay the target on that or something. Alright, let me get this box laid out of the way. Alright. So, we have the instructions, of course. Um, so, there's a battery cover in the site. So, the, it takes what, two triple A's? Okay, so the site takes two triple A's. The blaster, I believe, takes eight. Now, eight double A's or a LiPo uh, with an XT60 connector. Comes with the short darts, the long darts, short mag, long mag, adapter, and goggles, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's cut it out. <sighs> I mean, I have goggles. I think I have several, several, several of them. So um, I'll keep these for a war or something. Give them away. I don't know. I'll keep them as is. They're not bad. I mean, they're not the best, but they're not bad. Let's see here. There we go. Um, if you order um, the Dart Zone Pro Mark III here uh, right now on Target, I think they have a coupon for $20 off or $50 off or something like that if you buy over $100. So since this is $130, you'll at least get, um, I think, $25 off. Um, sadly, I bought before that promotion was going, but, you know, whatever. It's all about timing, I guess. <laughs> And I agree with um, the other the other creators like uh, Drac and uh, Flux and everybody else um, that the muzzle is a little long. That's the first thing I want to change. I want to change out that muzzle to a shorter one. Other than that, I think it's a cool look. Kind of it's kind of spacey, you know, like a space gun. But I like that it's um, um, what's it called? Um, symmetrical. That's the word I was looking for. Um, cause I have real OCD just in my regular stuff. So this being very, it, I actually thought it'd be a little bit fatter or bigger, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, okay. The trigger's not bad. Okay. And you can feel the difference in, um, the automatic and the semi, uh, semi-onic. That release isn't bad. Got the rail on top. Got the extendable stock. Uh, they need to do more of these, uh, more of these rubber grips um, for all of their pro line blasters. They should have even done it on the um, Mark II. That would have been really nice. Um, let's 
So yeah, all right, let's get the rest out. There's a battery door right here. All right. It's a pretty big scope too, which is not bad. And as you know, you can't really turn it to the store because you basically bought it from their website through Target, I guess. Um, so if you ever do have to return it, like something's wrong or something's missing or whatever, um, contact um, DartZone at PrimetimeToys.com. All right, we got both mags there. I like the design on these, these are pretty cool. And let's take this out. Let's get this box out of the way. And let's get these darts out of here. So let's see, these new kind of darts, let's get this out of the way. So these are kind of like the uh, original green bamboo darts, just yellow and blue, I guess. So these will be a lot easier to find in grass, just because they're bright yellow. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of want to test these in springers as well. Um, I mean, nowadays I usually use the um, what is it? The Adventure Pro darts, you know, the one that comes with like a hundred, was it 150 or a hundred pack for like 10 bucks or whatever at uh, Walmart. Um, but I just started getting into buying the, um, the dart zone ones, like the ones that come with the Max Striker. Um, I have the ones with the, that came with the Max Striker and then I have, um, I think 250 cases of those upstairs. Um, I, I, Somebody said that they uh, perform differently. I didn't see much difference. They're both really good. Um, I guess it just, just depends on what kind of um, color you like. <laughs> uh, but I will be comparing these uh, yellow bamboo short darts to those to see what gets a better uh, accuracy and uh, FPS and all that. All right, check all this stuff. There. there we go. So basically, you have the head of the Dart Zone Max Pro mixed in with the body of the original bamboo dart, which is cool. I mean, and it looks it looks like it's pretty well built. Uh, look inside; I don't see any glue, but it feels pretty tight on there. Uh, for these, basically the same thing, just longer. And um, I think what I'm going to do, because I still have uh, the green versions of these, and I'm thinking of just cutting them down to short darts, because why not? <laughs> um, you know, I don't even use the long ones. They're, they've been in a bag on my shelf for since I bought it. So, you know, why not? <laughs> just cut those down and you have more short darts. Because um, I'm prone to using those regardless. They just fire harder and faster. Um, okay, let me get a screwdriver and we will open up this blast off. So the access door to the batteries is right here. So you're going to need a Phillips, no, that's Phillips. Just unscrew that. Um, I noticed that Drac and Luke from Adarts, they have, um, uh, battery access door that you can buy to replace this one. I don't see really anything wrong with this one and I'd probably just keep it because it matches and if I do decide to paint this I don't know if I'm going to because I already like it. It's red. Red red and black is usually my theme if you haven't noticed by now. Um, of course with the you know orange pieces and um, all the upgrades like the triggers and um, barrel and everything that I plan on getting from Luke 
it's all gonna be orange. So it's still basically gonna be the same thing. Um, but their doors do meet up just as much as these do, but it won't have the same grade like this. It won't have the Dark Zone Pro logo on it. It'll just be plain, which is good, you know, whatever. Okay, so here's where you load the eight uh, double A's if you want to do it that way. Um, I did notice that um, Drac, Wacom, and Luke, they all said either two options for the splicer, either use all eight double A's or use the XT60 connector underneath. Um, do not use the um, cool look batteries and the dubbing batteries because um, the, the motors in here are basically meant for 3S um, and eight double A's is basically 3S or a, an actual 3S um, lipo battery, you know, is supposed to work with that. Um, when you mix the cool up batteries and the dimming batteries, you won't get the same performance and won't work as well. Um, it'll work, but it'll basically work the same as um, uh, 8AA. Um, maybe a smidge better, but you're better off going. You know, if you want to save money of not having to buy batteries, you know, whenever these die over and over and over, um, just invest in a LiPo battery and a charger. Luke sells them. Um, I'm going to be doing a video of that probably tomorrow. Um, but you just unscrew that screw right there. Pull this up. I believe. Is there another one? Oh, no, right there. You have to slide this way. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, it is tethered to an XT60 connector, which is really helpful. And that's really cool. I'm glad they did that. I hope this is the beginning of what they're going for in the future because they know that people in the hobby like me and all the other creators um, love using LiPos because basically if it does come with a tray of batteries, we don't usually use it. We usually upgrade it, right? So, uh, yeah, I hope this is... Uh, this is a staple that will go from now on with their electronic blasters for either Dart Zone, um, Adventure Force. Um, I don't think Nerf is ever going to uh, get onto this idea because they don't look like us already modifying just a regular blaster. <laughs> um, so yeah, but that's really cool how that works. And um, I have a 3S, but um, I sent a message to Luke today. He probably won't answer it. To Till tomorrow, but I asked him what the um, best for this space uh, 3S is because he does have some on his um, site, but he only has like one or two available, and, and I think he has like three or four, um, or he has two others that are sold out. So if it's one of the ones that's sold out, I gotta wait. Um, I mean, I'll charge up my 3S that I have and put it in there, but it'll be a little bit loose, you know, but whatever. All right, so that's pretty cool. I love that feature, that's really good. When uh, the other guys found this out, I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> All righty. Um, for performance sake, I'm going to quickly put in eight batteries um, and I guess fire each type through the magazine. We'll see how it does offhand. Uh, let's get some batteries. See those two triple A's for the site. We'll put those in. Why not? Since we have them, and we need eight double A's. All right. Um, I don't know if these are you. Well, I know they're open and they're in my bucket, but. I know I tested a lot of these um, a month ago and most of them were full power, so we'll see how it goes.
Yeah, I can see where this would be a pain, especially if you're on the, uh, Excuse me. If you're out on the um, you know field and you're trying to replace all these batteries instead of just um, taking this tray out, leaving it, and then just putting the cover on and using uh, a lipo underneath, because you could just unscrew this real quick, take out the bad lipo, put in a new one, charge, put this back on, you're ready to go again. Because loading individual batteries like this is a pain. <laughs> but you know, if it's the only thing you got, it's the only thing you got. Screw that back in. Oh, wait. I forgot to. Let's see. What's that? I forgot to put the screw back in here. If you ever do put batteries like I am, um, and you take the screw out to get to the lipo, um, always make sure you put it back and do not lose it. I almost did that, that would not be good. All right, it's in there. There's that. Make sure all the ends are connected. Did I notice that the springs were a little wonky? We'll put that in there, then we'll put the batteries in the scope. We'll load everything up and just see how it works. Um, I have heard all the reviews from everybody and they basically said, um, the only ones that will fire without a problem with short darts is a magazine that it came with, of course. Um, the Tachi 29 round um, and I think a ton of magazines, um, but they don't work with the uh, talent magazines because they get lodged in there and they, the way that the pusher works, it actually pulls the dart back in and you have a jam. But I don't know if you've seen already, but there's different ways to fix that. Um, Adriana at Foam Blast, she said to cut a little bit of the uh, stuff inside. I don't really want to cut anything because I don't want to mess it up because it is a, you know, the MK3. Um, the, but the other thing was, is probably the thing I'm going to get from Luke is uh, he put a piece that can just slide into here. It's a 3D printed part. And once you put that in, um, you're, it'll take talons, re, you know, fine. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, let's get the scope open with the Phillips head again. Almost felt like it was already open. Hmm, feel the loose. Uh, let's see. Um, I was reading an article yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. About um, not even the Halloween movie that comes out this year, which is actually coming out Friday in theaters and on uh, Peacock. Um, but um, the one that's coming after, supposedly next year, because this one's called Halloween, in, uh, Halloween Kills, and next year's is called Halloween Ends. And um, they were interviewing Jimmy Lee Curtis on that one. And she says that people are gonna be uh, angry, but they're also gonna be uh, agitated and uh surprise so uh, it sounds good <laughs> um yeah it, it'll be interesting to see i think what's going to happen is in every good um hero you know good versus evil battle i think they have to x each other out so i think michael will end up killing her but she'll kill him at the same time probably stab him in the head you know with his mask off or something i don't know i haven't seen it it's a, you know, it's a year in advance, but um, I, th I think that's what's going to happen. It just sounds like it. I mean, I don't know how else you're going to end the franchise. I mean, you could have her kill him and she's like fatally wounded or whatever. And she dies like minutes later, which, you know, whatever. But it's supposed to be the last 
uh, I believe, movie. Because it's supposed to be a whole trilogy with the one that came out in 18, and one coming out this year, and the one coming out next year. This screw is freaking long, man. They didn't need to make it this long. It's like they had extra material. It's just... Wow. There we go. Alright, let's get these guys. See if I can see which way to put them in. Let's see, here's the bottom or the top part. So that goes that way. So the flat end is going to go, or the negative is going to go there. Positive is going to go up on that side, just like that. We'll screw it back on. Ah, I see. There's tabs on this side. So you have to put it in that way and then screw it in. That's different. <laughs> All right, turn that on for a test. Yeah, it works. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There you go, little dot. It's not bad. Wish it had, you know, crosshairs or something, but eh, whatever. All right, now the fun part. Let's load these up. I'll do some on semi auto and full auto just so you can see. And what's funny is, um, right out of the box in the other guys' videos, they said it showed that um, the semi auto was faster, even if you're just pulling the trigger really fast, than the full auto. Um, but I think uh, either Luke or somebody is working on to make it go faster on the full auto because it should be. It's full auto. <laughs> You know, you should be spewing darts out like, you know, I mean, not as fast as a Lepus or a, a Foxfire, because those are pretty monstrous blasters that do that. Um, but you know, around there, at least at least five darts per second. I mean, with these long ones, I noticed they kind of went out like, it was like one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, you know, it's just, it's awkward. Um, yeah, I'll put up my target too, just so you guys can see. Well, no, I won't. <laughs> Don't really have the room right now. I'll just fire it against the back of here, so you can see. All right, that one's loaded. Let me load the short ones. Uh, I noticed today, I think we were at uh, 81 subscribers, guys, so I want to say thank you for that. Um, I think at 100 subscribers, I'm going to do my uh, tactical loadout review. Uh, go over it with you guys, show you what I got, uh, the do's and don'ts, um, and all that fun stuff. I have it set aside already. I haven't filmed the video yet, um, but I will be doing that at 100 uh, subscribers as a thank you. And I think, let's see, for the rest of the week, I think I have, let's see, today's, let's say Wednesday. Um, let's see, for the rest of the week, I have, what do I have? <laughs> oh, I know what I'm going to do. But I got to keep it a secret <laughs> until I actually show you guys. But I gave you some teasers in the uh, vid uh, a couple days ago. All right. Those are all loaded. Okay. Sounds pretty powerful as is. Put the scope on there. Uh, let's do the full lengths first. I'm gonna do a few on semi-auto and then I'll switch it over to uh, full. So I noticed when I push this in, there is a little bit of a gap. Usually you don't want that on a blaster, I don't know why. Because you kind of want to fit in there and stay in there, but it's a little loose, but you know, whatever, I'll forgive it. Because number one, it's their um, magazine, so who knows. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up and do a couple semi-autos. Okay, 
Okay, not bad. We're gonna go to full auto now. Yeah, you notice those last two kind of came out like almost at the same time. <laughs> so I think that's what they were talking about when they said, yeah, it's a little off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch back to semi-auto right there. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, short dart katana in here, or not katana, magazine. Right in there, put that in there. Uh, it's on semi-auto, let's go and fire a few. Okay, full auto. So yeah, um, doesn't fire as fast as I'd like it to, but that can be fixed and will be fixed in the future. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to contacting and talking to Luke about all this. Um, I asked him if he could, like he has pieces on his website right now, and I asked him if he could um, make like a bundle for it, you know, so you can order all pieces at once in a bundle price and then just get out like that. Um, right now he does have the flywheel cages that he made with the um, motors and stuff. Now me, I don't do the um, electrical wiring and soldering. I'm not good at that stuff. Um, so I asked him if he could make, you know, like basically a do-it-yourself kit and then like one that comes like drop-in ready. Cause I said, I asked him, could you put, make a drop-in ready kit for the modern stuff for people like me. <laughs> um, so we'll see what he says. Um, but he is supposed to be coming out with the bundle thing next week for all the, you know, the muzzle, the, the rev trigger, the trigger, the, you know, everything that he wants to do with this blaster. So I will wait for that for a while. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it seems to pr shoot pretty well as is, but it can be upgraded, it can be better. Um, but I like how it looks, it looks really cool. Um, And that's pretty loud on um, just eight uh, um, Duracell batteries. Um, so I'm happy with that. And the sight works, so I, I can't fault it for what it is, but it could be better. And uh, at the price range it is, it should have been, but we'll fix that. We're the modding community. You know, we, do, we get stuff done. <laughs> I also noticed there's a uh, 15 rail down here for a grip or something if you want. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, um, I will update you when I talk to Luke and figure stuff out. Um, I want to know about the th uh, 3S LiPo that he has, the bigger one, so it actually takes up the whole space in there, um, versus the one that I have. I mean, either one will work, but I don't want anything rattling in there, you know? Um, I want it snug. But yeah, the, the rubber parts in this are great. I love this. Yeah, they definitely need to do more of the rubber grips because it's really comfortable. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I see this is a really good blaster. Um, for their, for Dart Zone's first um, Pro-Line electric um, blaster, I mean, you know, it's great. <laughs> um, so this is number three. So. I have, let's see, I have the, what is it, the Dart Zone Pro 1, the original one that was like limited to 1000 or whatever, and then I have the 1.1, which is the one that you could buy at Walmart for 50 bucks, and then I have the Striker, I have the Conquest, uh, two of the Mark 2s, and now the Mark 3. So, you know, it's a good loadout. Um... But yeah, I think this is a really good choice if you guys want this one. Um, but definitely go to Target, um, find the coupon for it, apply it so you can get it for cheaper. Um, highly encourage that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down in the uh, comments below. And uh, please like, follow, and share. I'll see you guys in the next one.